Hey there everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel, my name is Chris Omi and we are back playing more Starters Order 7 with our Rascals Retreat save. Uh, the final season of this save, moving on to the new save soon with it being seeded once again by the current save. That's how we like to do things around here. Yeah, we've got some decent horses. Nobody really running now that I think is going to win grade ones apart from Marie W. I just, I don't know about the rest of them. Gotta be honest with you there. Um, I point a dream, I, I'm not sure it's a grade one horse either. Hamilton and up of one, they, they've proven it. Marie has proven it. Danat now all gets a shot. Point of Dream will at some point get a shot before the end of the year. I'm just not feeling a lot of these horses. So we double or triple booked a little bit in here. Multiple races for some of these horses. Point Attack is just going to go in and run to get us started. So, yeah, I've asked for you to say what you think about this save, these horses, and who should come with us on the next save. Uh, I already know who my breeders are probably going to be, so don't worry too much about that. I'm definitely going to bring in one horse from outside the saves, from a different save. Um, as well as Halifax, Marianne, and Laurentine, I think, are my four breeders. Coming down to the final furlong, we run pretty well here with Point Attack. This is a conditions race, but it doesn't look like we're sustaining any kind of challenge late on. Going to fall to fourth. Possibly fifth at the line, actually. So, a solid run, but nothing that we really want in yet. Yeah, it's, it's just not getting where we want. And point attack is done. It is done. That will not make it. A horse like that will not make it into this, the new series. Even... Even with a, a significant improvation, improvation, improvement. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um. Even with that, I don't think he would ever hit his potential until like five or maybe, you know, even past that. And by then, he'd be on the decline. So, no point. No point at all. Um. Wasted enough time on some of these horses. Then at now, well, big, big, big job on hand here. Halona, the Royal Ballerina, Spiritual Art, Victory Parade, Murka, Penny Gold. Ugh, this is a tough field for a horse that's never won a grade one before. It's the Hollywood Gold Cup over a mile two. This could be brutal. It could also be the greatest day out we've ever had. You've got to throw them out there to see how they do. Victory Parade goes up in a second. Royal Bar Arena, an attachment just in the hole there. Ginger Jack leads us out. The rest of the field together at the rear. Heading down the back stretch. Halona, Spiritual Art, close together. They can make some moves. They can definitely do some damage. The Nat Nawa, still here on the inside at the rear. Needs a gap to open up to actually make a challenge. It's a good bend, but will we be able to get through this field? Final two furlongs. Looks like we do have a gap. Spiritual Art is going to go. Halona's probably going to go as well alongside us. Nobody yet making a big move. Here comes Spiritual Art. And Royal Ballerina is going to respond with another push-up. We are not going. We are 100% not going. Royal Ballerina in second place doesn't have the pace to come past Spiritual Art. Halona, it does get up into third, but not the run I expected from them. Robile Arena seemed off as well. And we were just poor. Poor. That's all I can say. 5.6 lengths back. That was just poor. Um, that, to me, says that Nat Nawal will never win a grade one. We weren't even close there. Award winner Smurfy Silver. You know, back off is in here again. Decent field, but... I feel like Marie W just underperformed last time. Marie done definitely underperformed. Oh my god. Fell asleep in <laughs> fell asleep in the stalls. Couldn't get out to the track on time, it seems there. 
Oh, fight them from the back. Smurfy goes out to the lead. The rest of us coalesce at the rear. Award winner just not inside a very dangerous horse. But Smurfy's going to lead us out here. Lengthening. Nobody's coming up too quickly to make an issue. But come two furlongs, you best believe we'll all be together at the front here. Margaret Stream, award winner coming up now. The rest of the field just in behind. And we're going to start making our move on the outside. We're down to one and a half furlongs. We're passing award winner now. We're getting up towards second place as we cross this one furlong marker. Smurfy's still got about a length and a half over us as we're powering down the home stretch. Do we have the pace? Do we have the will to win with that terrific, terrific run at the finish? Marie W wins after a horrific start. Bad to begin. Emphatic to end. Marie W dominates. Dominates from a bad position. I like that a lot. Dwelt. Dwelt is really bad. Only short headed it, but I mean, nobody else was coming for Smurfy there. We like Smurfy. We like award winner a lot. Um, but neither one of those really ran a great race. Smurfy just wasn't challenged. Had to do all the running itself. Award winner did bits, but didn't really have that final push. But we had a terrific, terrific finish there. And I'm absolutely delighted with that because, let's face facts, nobody else was going to win for us. Nobody else is going to win for us. That's our third grade one win. A couple of third places. We haven't really been unlucky in any race there, but two third places could have been up to five, maybe. We've also got the Diana, and then we've got the Haskell, which I might dip out of. It's a little bit soon after, but possibility of another two runs for Marie. Uh, Nick Double Coop is coming up. We've got the Debutante Grade 3, and again, we don't know these horses. Just trying to get a grade on Nick here, trying to see if we can gain some ability as well. We're towards the rail there, third horse, and off to a decent start. Sugar Best on the outside, and Crystal Magic will go to the front. Everyone else in the line, but we're not running a wide bend, and that pleases me. That pleases me. Starting to make up some move here. Starting to make up a ground. Looks like Mon Petit Bijou is coming through instead of us, though. They're the horse that looks to be coming in from deep. Crystal Magic now pushing past Sugar Beat. The rest of the field all together. It's going to be those three together here for the final half furlong. Mon Petit Bijou pushing. Naval Affair not got the challenge. Not going to be able to sustain that to the line. Decent run indeed. Nick Double Coup. Uh, I think that's the best we can say is uh, another grade three Safranana's up <laughs> we just booked I think three grade threes for our two year olds normally we don't do that well in these but um, when we do and when we look like we win comfortably I'm more comfortable with our horse I'm more happy to think that there's a possibility the Triple Crown might be on our cards. We didn't run too badly there. Coming up inside the final two furlongs now. Petuna's going to kick out. Nickel Silver's going to come up the inside with us. We're going to charge on down though. On the outside, Trumpington Street, we know is a very good horse. Not going to get near Safranana here. As we close in down the line, a couple of lengths, maybe just one and a half, maybe less now. Solid win, grade three, Safranana. One and three quarters. I'll take it. I will 100% take it. 99 rated. It's not going to hit 70% potential, unfortunately. But a grade three, I mean, yeah, Safranana is probably never going to have the distance. Probably never going to be quite good enough to be a real triple crown threat either. But I'm, I'm happy with its run, at least. Let's move these out to grass. They're not going to run for the rest of the season. They're not going to run for the rest of the season. 
And there we go. All the two-year-olds are done. We're still at this point in the season running with a bunch of four-year-olds. I think they're not now. Well, we've seen enough. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we're going to test Night Naku in a grade two. We're going to test in a grade two. I'm pouring a dream. I really want them to win. I really want them to win something. I really think they could, but it's just not happened yet. It's just not happened yet. Let's go on to Friday in case anything crazy comes up. Nope. That's fine. That's a two-year-old auction. We don't care about those. Let's go and find out. Night Naku. Can you do it? Do you have what it takes to step up and win a graded race here? This is going to be supremely difficult because of that horse that we're alongside, that number two, the orange with the black polka dots, the legendary black caviar. We move a bit behind. We're going to need to get supremely lucky. Black caviar is not going to get pushed out. It's not going to get blocked off. Final furlong. Black caviar does not seem to be running well. Zell is still in the lead. Victorious groom and vaguely pleasant making up the uh, the charge to the line. Bunch of the horses come past us as well. It's going to be vaguely pleasant at the line. And Black caviar comes last. Black caviar comes last. 10 years of age. Two bad runs. I mean, it's time to retire. It's 100% time to retire. Um, that being said, Night Naku really didn't impress me there. I was hoping for more. I can't lie. I was hoping for more. Um, looks okay, but it's nowhere near the best breeders. And at that age... At that age, I think I'm done. Let's see if we got a race for point. Let's see if we got a race for point. So we should be a mile. If I'm correct, we should be at a mile. And then we see kind of where we go from there. We got a grade two. I don't really want the grade two. I'll run one. Because it hasn't been run in a while and might run poorly after an injury. So, a run one, but it's not what we want to do. Okay, 24th is the next big auction. Oh, Karate Queen. Just, at one point I was really excited. We're trying at a mile two. Rio Rosanna, Royal Ballerina's in your Halona's in your, you know, my top three my top three three-year-olds i mean this is a test it's a big test Helona in the black silks at the rear we got safe care in third royal ballerina just stalking rios rosana as is their want penny gold also a decent horse in this field towards the rear we're holding the inside we're not making a move yet we go right to the back as the rest of the horses kick on and yeah, final two furlongs. Rios Rosanna is going to try and steal this one. Royal Ballerina is going to kick on from stalking and come flying down the outside for the home stretch. Halona is going to put in a shift as well. Uh, Karate Queen as we cross the cross the furlong marker. <laughs> and Royal Ballerina powers on down home. Halona with a great, great chance though. I was going to say, but what a finish. Her loner upsets Royal Ballerina. And Royal Ballerina cannot buy a win. Like, just cannot buy a win. Like, that was not our, our race at all. That was not our race. But Royal Ballerina. Second, 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 second. Like, that's five seconds they've had. 
Six. Wow. Like that could be that could be twelve wins. I love Royal Ballerina. I think she's an absolutely amazing horse. She just didn't get lucky enough. Just didn't get lucky enough. And a lot of those are really close losses as well. Um Karate Queen could be decent. Not gonna breed from her. Not gonna breed from her. She's pretty much done. She is pretty much done. So yeah yeah didn't quite work out the way we wanted it to uh we could have been more ruthless earlier on but yeah we give her a chance uh grid one finishes last yeah nope that's not an auction i want any part of that's just not an auction i want any part of Marie W. You should be good to go. Yeah, you are. You are. Okay. Let's get back to winning ways. Let's get back to winning ways. Please. Please. Again, a tough field, but with a poor start, we still managed to outdo this field. Palace Street is the good horse in this field. And it's just to our outside. We're going to settle in alongside it at the rear. As on the back foot, slips in behind Spiritual Art and Chase the Fox. Then it's back to us on Palace Street. What I think will be the two that really should be in with a good chance of winning this. Spiritual Art also is a very decent horse. And there we go. Final two furlongs. Looks like Palace Street has gone a little bit earlier than us. But we're going to go with it. Here comes Spiritual Art down the outside. Chase the Fox dropping off on the back foot. Got a little bit blocked off there. Final furlong. We've got a head on Palace Street. Who they say is the top three-year-old. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Marie W. Dominates. Dominates. Palace Street, the, the best three-year-old. Ah, we laugh at that. Only the fourth Group 1 win. Again, there were other races we could have won that we didn't. We've been unlucky in some cases, but... Hey, she steps up. She wins. She wins well. I can't really argue against that. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to run her on the 7th. I mean, let's be honest. That might be just way too soon. That might be way too soon. Point of dream. Oh, you gotta win this. You gotta win this. This is a grade two point. This is a this is a grade two. A mile for staff, Dave. And let's see what we can do. Not off to a bad start. Again, don't know too many of these horses, but Julie de Motlis is in here again. Um She's not leading out this time. She led out uh, a grade one, probably as a pacemaker, sticking towards the rear here on the inside. Uh, we did. We seem to hesitate there a little bit too much, for my liking. Mick Mac McGool is well in the lead now, but here comes the surge from deep. We've got Hopeful Blue starting to make their move. Victoria's groom just on our inside. Nobody's yet pushing. We're going to go for it at the line by about a head. Point of dream just about gets up. It's not really the statement I was hoping to make. I've got to be honest. It's not really the statement we were hoping to make. Okay, Marie W probably shouldn't race this yeah not when we can get a few more days and run that one anyway no that makes sense to me that makes sense to me two-year-olds we don't buy two-year-olds now we probably should have what else are we going to spend this money from 
Okay. And Marie should be... Oh, Marie's not good to go. Marie's not good to go. That's the one good thing is... At this point of the season, there's a lot of races kind of in her wheelhouse she can go. Let me book some more. Let me book some more. Okay, not that many races, actually, uh, for our horses right now. Kind of sucks, but okay. But Marie should be good to go. Marie should be okay. And that's the main thing now. We're not going to push her into a race that she's not ready for yet. We're raring to go. Okay, Marie W. Again, we're a little bit laid back and, you know, too calm can be a problem. But Delmar Oaks over one mile one furlong. This is a grade one race again. Marie W. has won two of these now. Nope, there's some more of that lag. We don't like that. Uh, Tambri is in here. There's not really that many good horses in this field, so I'll be disappointed, actually, if Marie doesn't, like, win this race. I was going to say run well, but no, I will be disappointed if she doesn't actually win. So approaching the final two furlongs, coming up on the outside of Shavana now as we come past that marker and on to the home straight. We've got Tabria on the outside. Not yet making a move. They're cutting to the inside. But they don't have the pace to match us right now. As we drive on past that final furlong marker. And we are distancing the entire field. Half a furlong. Here comes Fast Chick. Avi as well coming through. But hand in the air. Wave it like you just don't care. Marie W with another grade one win. Three in a row. Yes, yes, please. More of that. More of that, please. More of that, please. Five grade one wins. Absolutely dominant. Absolutely dominant. We're starting to see Marie get back to her best after, let's face it, a quite shaky season. Quite a shaky season. She didn't run too badly. You know, I'll, I'll give it to her. She didn't run too badly to begin with. We open up with a win. Then we do okay in the Florida Derby. We win the Bluegrass. Derby and Preakness don't go away. The first time in a long time we have not competed really in those races. And then we didn't really get back to business at Virginia. But since then, the Swaps, the Diana, Delmar, Oaks, three out of three. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I don't think there's going to be another one for a while. 4th of September. I mean... We can. We're probably better off waiting for one of these. Yeah, I mean, look at that field. Look at that field. Like, that's that's the one we want to do. It's on the ninth. 100%. That's the race we want to do. Just an easy, easy win. No point racing is the best if you can ra race against grade threes. That's just, yeah. That's just mind-blowing how that happens sometimes. Mind-blowing. But it is what it is. A little bit of lag popping up again. And I say, I think it's definitely time we say goodbye to this save and move on to pastures new. Uh, and also, what should I call the new stables? Have your comments in the section down below. I normally go with something off Rascals. I don't have to, but I have done for ages. So let me know what you can come up with there. Okay. This has got to be the toughest field we've run in in quite some time. Spiritual Art Victory Parade, you know, they're good horses. They're good horses. Smurfy Silver's a good horse. Halona, Royal Ballerina, they're great horses. De Lamy's a legend. Silver Adonis has not been running well. 
has not been running well. The Travers, one mile, two furlongs on the outside. We're off to a decent start. Halona's on the inside. Looks like Smurphy's going out early, as is their want a little bit. Royal Ballerina into stalking position as they like. Delami on the inside rail, leading out this rear pack. It's going to be a tough one. Victory Parade actually leading us out with Woodman. It does look here like Smurphy's been caught up a little bit by the chasing pack. Royal Ballerina's in great position. They allow me if they can get free is in great position. Halona's going to the outside early. We're going to see. Here comes De Lamy up the inside. Halona's still holding position. Silver Adonis isn't really in the picture. And Royal Ballerina's going to go now. Here goes De Lamy. Royal Ballerina just edging out into the lead. De Lamy coming through, though. They're three wide at the furlong marker. We're going to fall off. Halona's going to come in from deep to make a little bit of a, a move for this. De Lamy, though, by a length from Royal Ballerina. We were nowhere near. And, yeah. It's been quite the descent for Silver Adonis. Now, deterioration's high. We knew it could happen. It never had a ton of, of, of potential anyway. But, yeah, I just feel that, you know, those thirds and seconds, we could have turned into firsts with better runs. We were unlucky a few places. Like, I just wonder if there were 10 Group 1 wins for Adonis. And we never got there. That's kind of my disappointing feeling there, is that we probably never quite got there. And that's a shame. That is a shame. Still a great season, still a Kentucky derby. Uh, second place, almost won. Won the Preakness. So, you know, good career, but I think we were all thinking we'd get more out of them. And we just didn't. End of the day, we just didn't. I just passed up a yearling auction there because the game lagged. And I thought I hadn't pressed the button or I hadn't registered a press. So, yeah. Breeders. Nope. Holy Norma. Oh, my God. She's warm. She's warm. Yeah. She's warm going into it. The four goal. Or we might as well call it the chance goal because the chance is already gone. We dwell as well. Riom's in here. Tricks of the trade. Palace Street's got to be your favorite here, though. Um, and they're just ahead of us. Just ahead of us. Rion will lead us out. Palace Street in fourth at the moment. In good position to make a move. We'll probably see Tricks of the Trade make a bit of a late push. Looks like we're going up the inside here of Tamarud, but no real pace, no real challenge from Palace Street yet. But there they go. Now they kick on. We all kick on. Tricks of the Trade is going to come up. Doesn't look like they're going to have any pace for the final part. Tamarud's going to hold us off. We're not even going to finish second. But close to finishing fourth, actually. We dropped off really badly. Yeah. Yeah, seven furlongs instead of a mile, but we've been... We, we ran quite well at that level, so... I figured why not. I figured why not. But yeah. Didn't really get anything done, did we? Ah, oh, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed at myself. But yeah. Like this season is winding down quickly where Honestly, if you're if you're midway through the season as a three-year-old or a four-year-old or above and you have yet to win a grade one, like, you're not going to win a grade one in the last few months unless you're extremely lucky. So, 
We're really concentrating now on the horses we already have. Zell goes out early. Self-care, my ballerina, they like to run up near the front. We're still at the back. We've got a couple of horses which will make moves towards the end of the race. We'll see kind of where we are. We, we're still off screen. But we're apparently up in third. We're making a move on second place. We've got one furlong to go. And we're powering on down the home stretch. But it's a late charge from Marie W. Normally she likes to go early. We go late today. And we absolutely dominate this. I forgot it was a grade 3 basically field. We've seen a couple of them in better races. That's why. But that was basically a grade 3 field. Um, I kind of feel bad about that one. I really, really do. I really do. Okay. Point of dream. Now we're going to try you. But we're going to find you some race. We're going to find you some race. Silver Adonis. Do we want to head to the barn? Oh, I don't know. I don't think anything's missing from Adonis. But I don't think anything is really... Special on Adonis. If I put you in Laurentine, that might work. But then again, if I put Laurentine with Halifax, that would be pretty much the same. I think they're done. I think they're done as a racer, though. Let's be honest. I don't think we're going to get anything out of them. Norma. We kind of had our, our bright moments with Norma. We're not... Yeah, we're not going to breed from her. Um, I think she's done. But, hey, last season, August, that was a great month. That was a great month. But, yeah, I, I don't think she's going to win any more big races, really. I don't really want to breed from up. I don't think it would be good. So we say fond farewells to Norma as well there. Queen's Rock, I mean. Probably done with her. Higgy Dat over a mile. I mean, there's some stuff I do like there. There's some stuff I do like with Higgy. There's some stuff I really don't like, but there is some stuff I like. And Yao, I mean, potential, extra speed is good. Everything else is absolutely terrible. I think we've got better options to breed from. Uh, I can only bring over so many horses anyway. 16 a season. And I definitely want to bring Battle of Britain in. I don't know if we I might want to bring in Mistopheles Marshy as well. Those are actually from, uh, uh, from the started series that i was gonna start up and basically with some bugs in start it the exceed exceedingly long lag i didn't bring them in but as a three-year-old battle of britain won three races as a four-year-old it had won 14 grade ones and as a five-year-old it had won like 24. so like you can see battle of britain mistopheles match we got two very good horses we could breed from and I'm not really sure if I want to, like, change that up at all. I'm not sure if I want to change that up at all. So I got four. I got Hamilton. Is there going to be a five furlong race that Hamilton can get in before the end of the season? Or are we done? As a conditions race, but there's no grades. If I wanted to move up to six furlongs, there'd be a Vosburg in October. I mean, we can try six furlongs. We can try six furlongs. I think Point of Dream... And 
Black W are both Milers. So what am I keeping them open for? So if you go to diary, you go to the distance filter, just in case you don't know this. And then you can say either side. So if you want like a mile one or seven furlongs and miles together, you can go up here. It'll show you all those. So this is how much range you want to add into it. So just for a mile, because I don't think they get seven furlong, point of dream has got a grade two. Breathers Club Mile, I don't think they get, and then two towards the end. So, I mean, ugh. we've never won that. We've bred from horses that have leading authority, rolling aces, bold fact. We've bred from all those. I don't think we win that. And then the Hong Kong and Cranji Miles, I mean, they could be good races for Point and Black to end out the season. So, yeah, Point of Dream's probably going to get two. Black is probably going to go in the Hong Kong Mile. Point, Point's going to go in Cranji and then the BC Mile. And that leaves us Marie W. At a mile one. What have we got at the end of the season? The Bell Dam, we can book now. Then the Distaff. And then probably Cranji. So three more races for her as well. Okay. I'm not mad. I think that's a good set of races, honestly. I think that's a good set of races. Okay, let's get these two done. And then we can see where we go at the end of the season. Marie W. Such a good horse. In such good form. I really just want her to keep winning. I really want her to keep winning. And I'd love to take her into the next save as one of my breeders as well. Oh, it's a bad start. It doesn't matter always for up. I mean, Rios Rosanna is going to lead us out here. It's going to be the pacemaker. Tabri is going to come through at some point. Palace Street's going to make a run. Hopefully, looking at it, might get blocked off. I'd really love it if they did. Probably going to make an early move to get out of that box, though. Um, That's probably the way it's going to go. And yeah, it opens up quite a lot. They can just hug the rail and go in. Now they're going to have to make moves, but they're not going to get blocked off. Final furlong. Like, Rios Rosanna had this race all to themselves. Palace Street's going to come with us down the home stretch. We're going to power out into first place. Palace Street, I think, just missed out. Interesting. So, yeah, Palace Street's been, like, the best at this distance. The game keeps telling you. Marie W. just doesn't care. Bad start, anything, doesn't matter. We're going to get the job done. Hambleton. Last race of the season for Hambleton. The Vosburg, Tamarud, Ryud. Lyric Street, there's some good horses here. There are some good horses here. So we're just going to dive right in. We've got the outside draw. And we're off decently well. So we've won at five furlongs. Do we have what it takes to win at six? I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. Coming down now, final two furlongs. Final one and a half. Here we go, we're going to kick on. We're going to kick on, we're going to be in the mix unless we completely fall off. Common request is there with us. It doesn't look like anyone's coming close enough. Hamilton wins a grade one at five furlongs and six to end a very poor career. Let's, let's face facts, a very poor career. Um, yeah, it hasn't really run much or done much, but 
Looks okay. Could probably run as a four-year-old, but not going to be bred from. Okay, I've got to I've got to go out of the day. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, we will be saying goodbye to Hamilton after that. So final look at Hamilton. Some pretty good stats, but nothing, nothing crazy. But we did finally get two grade wins on him, five and six. I'm happy enough with that. Thank you very much for your service. Appreciate you. Um, yeah. Okay, we've booked in for the distaff for Marie W. We've booked Point of Dream in here for um, for the BC. Yeah, for the Bre Breeders Club race. That's correct. Almost forgot. Oh, my God. I almost clicked, uh, skipped by accident. It's just jumping this. Again, it's the big field. Royal Ballerina and Co. Marie W, though, she might not have been able to compete that well with these horses earlier on in the year. But towards the end of the year, she's absolutely showing her worth. So, looks like we're in a decent enough position. We got, you know, horses with us like Palace Street who can always do damage. Royal Ballerina a bit further back than normal. Starting to edge out into third now. Russ Rosanna not quite at the front. So we'll see kind of how that goes. And we're going to get held up very, very badly. And that's going to end our challenge. Yeah, I could see that happening. Such a big field. We just didn't start well. We got hampered and then we couldn't even run after that. Like, it was really bad. Oh, so that's like one... One furlong, Hampered is one and a half, that's two and a half. Tardy starts another one and a half, maybe that's four. And then it's the extra on top of that. Could we have beaten Royal Ballerina today? Yes. Would we have? I don't know. But we never had the opportunity. We never had the opportunity. So uh, that sucks because, you know, we just strung five grade ones in a row. It would have been really lovely to get that one as well. But seven, with a chance of number eight to come. Let's not forget, chance of number eight to come. Speaking of which, we're going to book in for that right now. We're going to book Point of Dream in to the Crunchy Mile. And Black W is going to get the Hong Kong Mile. So we're already booked in to everything we want. Point the Dream has a chance to win a grade one. In fact, has two chances. BC Mile. And we're off to a bit of a tardy start there again. Not really running the way we want to. And that is a big problem. Uh, but we're up in stalking position. We're into a decent position there. Mick McMagool's there with us. We know that horse a little bit. Doorboy's gone out to the lead. So anybody's guess who's going to go where in this one. We're going to come wide a little bit down to the final. Two furlongs coming off the bend. Home stretch. Let's go. Point of dream. Come on. Final furlong. Time to kick on and show what you're made of. Time to show what you made of. Mick McGool's going clear. Big Sir. There comes the field. Not a great run. Not a great run. Okay, final three then. Let's wrap this up really quickly so I can I can start getting the start it mod updated. Because we will be running a start it save next. That will be the uh the way we're going. But we'll transition some of these horses into that start it save. I've got a lot of decisions in there to make. I've got a lot of decisions to make. Oh my. Oh my. But like we've 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 got to. We've just got to buy them. I don't care right now. They might be world beaters and they'll come across as breeders for the next save. And improve our starts. So we're going to go over 4 million. 
Not by much, but by enough. Like, who, who... Let's be honest. Who thought that we'd ever be able to land ourselves Alexander Star? Like, that's another... Unless I'm badly mistaken, that is Kentucky Derby winner Alexander Star. Now, Jolie Lande, we raced against a bunch as well. Julie Lande, solid, doesn't look too bad. 80 potential. Nothing else that we're going to want. There was no point in saving the money, though. But Alexander Star beat Silver Adonis to the Kentucky Derby. Please, please. Looks like it'd be a good jump source. Please be good enough to want to breed from. Please. It's not what I want it to be. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not quite what I want it to be. There are horses I could breed with it. And actually thinking about it, Battle of Britain and Mistopheles Machi. More Battle of Britain could be the one. Could be the one. We're talking 80 extra speed, so we're probably going to hold that extra speed. We're talking, you know, decent cruising burst. We're not going to lose any of that. A 90% potential. So we're just going to get a slightly better, hopefully, version of Alexander Starr as a four. I'm on board for that. I'm on board for that. That that suits me down to the ground. Alexander Starr. Plus Battle of Britain. Equals Triple Chrome Contender. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board. Retire to game pool. Yes, that's right. Just need to be 100% sure. Yeah, okay, okay. No, I don't want to click the wrong button there after landing a another triple chrome winning horse, you know, or at least the Kentucky Derby winning horse. Didn't win all the triple crowns. Okay. That'll do me. Hong Kong Mile, Black W. Unbeaten this season. Yep. So we're down to the final three. Black W's up first. Let's see what we get going on here. Number Cruncher is in this one. So, again, it'll be tough. It will be tough. But you never know, right? Large field, something could happen. Rios Rosanna's in here. That's another very tough horse at this distance. And then a bunch of horses we just don't know. We're going to go towards the back. It's never a good place to be in in these races. So Rios Rosanna, barely in the lead. Number cruncher just there on the flank, ready to attack. Those are the two. White Ledger just heading them out at this point. Looks like we're making a move up the field. We're inside two furlongs. Number Cruncher starts to make a move now. Shea Khan has already pulled up with an injury. Rio Rosanna on the inside. Us on the outside. We cross the furlong marker. About half a length back from Number Cruncher. We're starting to edge out. And we're going to do it. Black W picks up the Hong Kong Mile. In pretty decent fashion. Let's let's not mince words here either. That was that was solid, you know. I mean, I expected more of a 
more of a fight from Number Cruncher. I expected Rios to like come out and challenge us. Black W. Probably wants more than a mile. Probably wants more than a mile. That 90 odd percent extra speed. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to keep them or not. Yeah, that's, that's one we're going to have to think about. That's another one we're going to have to think about. And then Point of Dream, Marie W. So let's have a quick look at the field. So we've got Silver Adonis, who we could keep and breed. Black W is similar, not exceedingly so, but in a number of ways. Um, I don't know. Higgy. Higgy, again, could be a breeder. And then a bunch of two-year-olds. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure on the two-year-olds. So we're going to have to see on those. Breeding. Mariana. I definitely want to bring Mariana. Dara, probably. Laurentine. Um, probably not on the other four. And then Halifax, Dream Euro. Probably not Dream Euro. Probably not Hooded Fang. Probably not Tag Leal. So... Yeah, Mariana, Dara, Laurentine. I think Halifax, Mistopheles, and Britain. That's three and three for breeding with Adonis, Black W, Higgy Dat possibly coming through as well for breeding. With Marie W. So we'd have five and five. Yeah, I think that's decent. I think that's decent. Um, that gives us a good chance of getting a good breed up straight away. We've got a ton of yearlings that we might want to bring through. Honestly, I don't know. I'm going to have to go through and figure out which one of those we want to bring through. And the two-year-olds. So if you have any say in who you want to see in the next series... Chuck it down below. Final sale has nothing. Final races. The penultimate one of this save. Point of Dream. Could not win the grade one. Only one grade ru one runner in this field. We're going to see what we can do. One mile. It's the Cranji Mount Grade 1 race. The final race, perhaps, of Point of Dreams' career. I don't see anything which makes me think that he'd be good in the breeding barn. So, I really do think this is it. The reason we're running this is because we want to get that one Grade 1 win. Okay. Okay. Coming round the final bit of the turn, closing in two furlong marker. George Thisby by about a length, but now being quickly overhauled. Here comes the rest of the field with us. Do we have the push and the drive down the home straight? We're going to be leading by about a length, maybe a bit more. Who's going to come from deep? Who's going to spoil our fun? Absolutely no one. Grade one win. Point of Dream finally gets the job done. It's a long time coming. The penultimate race in the entire save. But Point of Dream is finally a grade one horse. Oh, wow. Wow. Finally gets the job done. And it's only fitting that with everybody we've had, you know, the good four-year-olds have gone into the barn. Now, they've, they've already gone. 
Right, last season, four year olds, Laurentine Halifax, they went into the Breeders' Barn. So, we didn't really have a great four year old. I thought it would be Adonis, but they fell off. A couple others didn't really step up. Final race of the season. Final race of the save. Before we head to the Start It mod and seed it with these horses. Marie W. Off the back of a sixth place finish. Chance to make it eight Group 1 wins. The Raffles Cup here in Singapore. We don't really know these horses that well. I think we should win. Maybe a lovely way to send off the series. Let's see if we can get the job done. We're off to a decent start there near the rail. Pretty decent. All blue and then attachment coming up just behind. The rest of us all kind of together at the rear. We shouldn't be blocked off. We should run a pretty tight bend. We should be in good position for this. If we're good enough, the opportunity will be there. Final two furlongs down into the home stretch. We're coming past attachment now, closing down in all blue. Here comes Spaytown's uh, kid and super gift from deep. Are they going to make a play? Looks like Spaytown's kid might. Final furlong marker. We have it by ahead. We're driving on down the home straight. Half a furlong from home. Right towards the end. Hand in the air. Waving goodbye to the series. For now, Marie W. Ends her racing career, I'm pretty sure. She'll be in the breeding barn. But ends her racing career with eight grade one wins. Signing off in style. Part of a double header with Point of Dream today. And that is absolutely fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy that we finally got Marie running. It's a shame it didn't happen earlier on in the season. The Derby, I still don't think we would win, but the Preakness, I mean, what we've done since then at a mile one. We've beaten everybody that was in the Preakness. We've beaten everybody else that was in the Preakness. Marie could have done something. Marie could have done something. So, a very good end to a pretty good end of season. It's a shame to say goodbye to some of these horses, like Point of Dream. As I say, I don't see any reason to bring them across. We've got to be ruthless. We've got to be ruthless. So I'm going to retire them to stud. To stud. Yeah, I like Higgy a lot. I like Higgy a lot. I think Higgy looks really good. Send them to stud. We won't be able to breed from them, but we'll be able to pick them up from there anyway um okay sweet chili so sweet chili comes across i think there's a place for chili i don't think there is for dynamite i don't think there is for special moment not for lord of the house Safranana. There's definitely a place for Safranana. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for high potential. I'm looking for extra speed. And then good bars elsewhere. I'm not looking for great bars. I don't need great bars. I think Sweet Chili is pretty much you know, showing you that. Um, she does bring battling quality. Safranana does bring closing, uh, cruising burst, which helps. Um... Low enthusiasm, low confidence, not great cruising burst. Nick Double Coup. Yeah, no, no. I'm just keeping the best of the best. 
Let's keep the best of the best. That fang, I think, we're definitely taking. Low enthusiasm, that's the only thing missing. We're definitely taking that fang, saffronana, and sweet chili. Bold cuckoo, yeah, we're taking her as well. So those would be four that we're taking. So let's go ahead and retire them to the game pool. Okay. Everybody else is in breathing. Everybody else is in breathing. So black W. I think we're taking. Silver Adonis, I think we're taking. Halifax, I think we're taking. I don't think they offer anything more at all. So I'm okay with those. So Marie's going to be in there. And Higgy's going to be in there. And I'll have to export these as next year. And then we've got all these go through. So I'm going to go through and pick the best yearlings. And then I'm going to go through next year. I'm going to pick the best yearlings out of this bunch. And I'm going to pull Mariana, Dara, and I think Laurentine in as well. I think those are the only three. Um, but yeah, we'll be good enough to start with that. And that gives us... If we get rid of, I don't like the way it jumps back up when I do that, by the way. Double that and Takiana. Oh, I can't remember them at all. I can't remember them at all. Um, but we could pull Laurentine and Halifax in as yearlings, which could be interesting. Let's get rid of Karate Queen. Summer in the Hamilton Higgitat. Grab the glory. Disappointed me. I think everybody else has been good. All these have come in here. Double that and Takiana, I can't remember. But then we got all of these to pull in. All of these to pull in. So I think we'll be doing it over a couple of seasons. But I do think we got some good, good horses in place. So... So we're going to save it and end it. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Come back in the next one to see the setup and what we're going to be doing with the Start It mod. Hopefully that will be all up and running. It'll probably be very laggy for the first season. Um, but yeah, it does seem to improve over time. And if we do get rid of some horses, then it can always be good too. So... Might as well buy these out. There might be a world beater. Um, but yeah, I'll see you then. Until next time, thank you very much for the continued support. As always, I'll see you in the next one.